Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom. My son Reese is just over a month old at this point, which is crazy. But I thought I'd go ahead and kind of just share what we use in our diaper bag on a day to day basis. I kind of consider myself to be more of a minimal realistic packer when it comes to Reese. And so if that's kind of how you also like to pack, I hope this is helpful for you. So let's get right into it. For Reese's diaper bag, we have the Itsy Ritzy Boss Bag. This is the Jet Setter Black color. It is a vegan leather backpack style diaper bag. And so far, after over a month of use, we are loving it. Both myself and my fiance Dakota have zero complaints about it. And so if you're in the market and looking to get a diaper bag, definitely check this one out. Just a quick guide around the outside, just because I have a few of our essentials around the bag. We do have the binky case, and this is one of my main newborn essentials. Even though Reese isn't a huge binky baby, I think that everyone should at least carry one just in case shit truly does kind of hit the fan and you're just like out of options and he's freaking out. Definitely just try a binky. And so we have one that we just designate for the diaper bag that never leaves. And so we don't have to worry about checking it before we go. So inside we have the Bibbs pacifier. If you can see my nails, and you were here for my video last week. Yes, your girl still hasn't gotten them done. We're looking really ratchet. Just love me. We'll get there eventually, okay? But we have the Bibbs pacifier. This is the only binky that I've ever actually given Reese and he seems to really enjoy it when he does decide that he wants to take a pacifier. And then we just have it attached to a mushy or mushy pacifier clip. This is the wooden bead one. So you can just clip this right onto his outfit or if he's wearing a bib. And so that's great. And so we just keep this right on the outside. Right next to that, you might have noticed that Itsy Ritzy does have shoulder straps that are attached to the bag and it comes with it. And so we just keep these on here all the time, even if it's not necessarily attached to our stroller. And then under it, my main essential, not necessarily for Reese, but for myself is my Hydro Flask. I always have my water bottle on me and I just keep it in the insulated pocket right on the edge here, just because we don't have to worry about having a bottle in there because he's strictly breastfed. But this is something definitely to invest in just getting a nice water bottle, treat yourself. It's my emotional support water bottle at this point. I just need to make sure I'm drinking a lot so my milk supply doesn't decrease or anything like that. So just a nice water bottle for yourself. And then on the other side, I have the Itsy Ritzy hand sanitizer holder. I believe this is a two ounce and this is a must for me. I am crazy about germs to begin with and especially during COVID with a newborn, I always have this. And so this just stays attached, really accessible on the outside. And then I just have the Itsy Ritzy wallet in here. I think I just have my license, debit card and credit card. And so this just clips right on the outside for easy access. Something to look at as well. Itsy Ritzy does have another insulated pocket. This one is a zipper and it's about the size of my hand. We don't have anything in here right now, but it would be great if you did need to store like maybe a breast milk pouch or if you have older children, you could store a nice cool snack in there as well. So just food for thought if you're interested in the diaper bag. And then in the front here, it does have a large pocket that goes all the way down. This one is a larger pocket that nothing kind of goes in there. Again, about the size of my hand. And then this smaller pocket, just slide my phone in there. And on the top of the diaper bag behind the handle, it's like a moon shaped or half circle pocket that's like felt lined almost. And so I think it's designed for sunglasses, but I just keep my car keys in here. Um, I have a touch to start. So it's just a really nice spot to just kind of keep those. And then of course in the back, it's just the leather backpack straps. They do have like a mesh padding on the inside. So it is comfortable on your shoulder. And then back here, the bag also includes a changing pad. So this is one of my newborn essentials. So if your diaper bag does not come with one of these, I highly recommend you invest. I don't even want to know what disgusting germs were like crawling on public changing tables. So just make sure that you get one and you can store it in your diaper bag and try and get one that has a wipeable surface just like this one does. So this one is nice and cute. It says head and toes and it's a nice wipeable material. So I've only used this a couple times. Like when I was at my sister's house, I threw this on the table and changed him on this and it worked out great. And I'll also just mention that it does have a rubber sole so it doesn't get chewed up when you put it on the ground or anything like that. And then inside, the bag can fully open up, which is fantastic. So this is what the inside of my bag looks like. 
I do have the Itsy Ritsy Packing Cubes. They sell them in all different colors to match your diaper bags, and it comes in a pack of three. So the first one on the top, this is kind of my mini mom bag. I use the diaper bag for not only Reese, but it kind of doubles as my purse as well because I'm not gonna carry two, that would be crazy. And so I just kind of have this little one just for myself. And then the inside, I just keep an extra scrunchie. I keep three tampons. These are like the plastic Kotex ones, one for myself one for a backup, and then one for a friend that doesn't have one in the bathroom somewhere. So I just keep three in there. I keep a deodorant. This is the Old Spice Bear Glove. It's actually a men's deodorant and I love it. I found it years ago and it works out really well for me. I feel like girl deodorant never works out well. And so I just keep one of those. And then I have an Aquaphor in there. This is what I use for chapstick, but technically it's a healing ointment. So I guess you could use it for like skin that's not just your lips but I just use it for chapstick so all those fit in a little tiny itsy ritzy packing cube and then in my medium pouch this is just Reese's like clothes and accessories and anything like that I roll all of his clothes I find that that's the best method to kind of keep everything organized but also save space and so the first thing I'm just gonna grab is just a zipper footie Reese's in size 0 to 3 right now and so I honestly just chose the footie that was my least favorite, if that makes sense, because there is a good chance that hopefully if he doesn't have any blowouts, because we have yet to have one, knock on wood, that he might never actually wear this and so I won't be devastated or anything like that. But if you watched my previous video, I talked about in my newborn essentials must-haves when looking for baby clothes and so this definitely fit the bill. It's a zipper, it's got the footies, and it has built-in mittens. So. It's a nice enough color where it could double as pajamas if we happen to be out a little bit later and I didn't want to change him when I got home. But it's also a nice enough color where like it's socially acceptable if we're out somewhere and I wouldn't be like, oh my God, what is my child wearing? So definitely just get a footie and just keep that in the diaper bag for sure. Of course, a newborn staple. I just have a little white onesie. If you know me, you know I am a big supporter of the muslin burp cloth, so you should have known that this was going to find its way into my diaper bag. Um, it's great. It's a good size. You can just throw it over the shoulder. This is fantastic, of course, for burping Reese, but we use it all the time to catch any like milk dribble when he wants to be a boy and be a messy eater. So just a burp cloth. We have a bandana bib. This is by the brand Copper Pearl. I got it off of Amazon and it came a pack of four for around $20. Um, but we keep this in here um, just because sometimes when Reese is getting kind of tired or he's being lazy with the breastfeeding, it'll dribble down, it'll get like around the collar of a shirt and I just don't want him to be cold and be sitting in milk all day. So this is just great kind of just to put on him before out and about. And so far, every time that we have used it, it's been really absorbent. So at this point, I definitely would recommend the Copper Pearl bandana bibs if you're in the market to get one for your diaper bag as well. And then the last three things, we live in Connecticut, but the weather is just so goddamn unpredictable it's just crazy so i just keep a knotted hat in there for him it's gray so it'll just match kind of whatever he's wearing at the time or of course his footie and then i just keep a pair of mittens these specific mittens have like a knot tie on them i think i reviewed these in my baby shower haul and what's great is because they never fall off i love them and then just an extra pair of socks if he's wearing like a romper or something like that and his feet get cold so all of these just kind of fit right into that medium pouch and then of course i have extra room to spare and then in the largest it's your itsy packing cube i keep the main essentials right now i have one i have eight size one diapers that's definitely a bit excessive, like you don't need that many. I would say a good rule of thumb is probably about six diapers, but we mainly just go to the doctor's office. I don't know what it is about going to the pediatrician and the air that you breathe in there, but for some reason, Reese always ends up pooping a ton at the pediatricians because you know, you change it before you go so they don't think you're a bad parent when you show up with a baby with shit in the diaper. And then you get there and they're like, hey, strip him down naked, we're gonna weigh him. And of course he now has poop in his diaper, so there goes one diaper. Then you bring him back and then you put a new diaper on him. And then by the time the pediatrician comes in and rechecks him, he's already pooped through that diaper. And so you're changing him again. I don't know. So I feel like every time we go to the doctors, we mow through like three diapers. And I'm just like, what is going on here? I don't know if that's just to go Reese thing or everybody's baby does it, but I've just learned to just keep extra diapers in there. I feel like there's no harm, no foul in having too many diapers. And so that's kind of one of the things I'm not necessarily so minimal about. If I have the room, I'm gonna put the diapers in there. 
I also carry a, this is a 60 count of Hello Bella wipes. We use the Hello Bella diapers and wipes and have yet to have a blowout, yet to have a diaper rash. I am loving them so far. I know sometimes moms will carry like the travel size wipes in the diaper bag. I'm not really sure why per se. Um, I have anxiety, so like I don't want to be without the two main essentials. And so I just keep these in the large packing cube and I have more than enough room. And then the last thing that I keep in there is just a container that holds our disposable bags for diapers. Like if we're at the doctor's or something like that, we can just put the dirty diaper in here. I got this off at of Amazon and so far the quality of the bags have been fantastic. So I'll link this for sure. But these just go right inside the large packing cube. And then the two things that are in the diaper bag that aren't in the containers, the one on the bottom is the blanket. And this is actually kind of just held in by like this mesh liner that's removable, but I actually love this. It works out great. And so this is just a muslin blanket. I got this off of Amazon. This is a fantastic fabric where it doubles as a blanket. You can wipe any dribble. It's a spot for him to lay. It's kind of just a multi-purpose one. It's a little bit bigger, I believe, than a receiving blanket, but smaller than a swaddle. So it's kind of just like a good jack of all trades blanket. So definitely look into getting just a muslin blanket that's not overly thick and doesn't take up a ton of room, but it can serve multiple different purposes within your diaper bag. So definitely check that out. And then just on the side here, copper pearl nursing cover. Mine is the color, oh, it's a super, super soft fabric. I've yet to actually had to use this. Luckily, every time I've been out with Reese, I either have the privacy of my own room where I don't necessarily need to cover up because I'm just not quite at the point where I feel comfortable breastfeeding out in public. I'm terrified to breastfeed out in public. At first, I thought it was just because I wasn't really confident in my breastfeeding, but we honestly established a really good latch and system and things like that. I don't know, I think it's just like the nerves of like, you get really comfortable in your routine of how you sit and how you do it, what you wear. And so I think that I probably just need to like challenge myself to switch up the routine a little bit. But if you are a second time mom or you're a brand new mom and you do have experience, any tips and tricks that make it a little bit easier and less stressful, let me know in the comments down below or some other moms as well can maybe get some advice too. But this will be great for when I do need to breastfeed out in public, but it can also double as a high chair cover or shopping cart cover when he gets older and can actually sit unassisted, of course. So just a nursing cover. And then just if you're interested, while I do have the bag open, the bag does feature two zipper pockets for the front side. It has the mesh liner here, two big pockets here as well, two mesh pockets on the side, and then one on the side as well, which has my nursing cover in it too. And then it also has like a little clip. I imagine you could probably clip the wallet inside if you'd like more protection or maybe your keys. But it's such a large and roomy bag with so many different compartments. I'm so looking forward to the future when Reese obviously has more stuff that he requires me to bring. And so I'm looking forward to the organization that is available to me in the bag. And so make sure you subscribe because I'll be doing updates on what's in my diaper bag as he continues to grow and our needs kind of continue to change. But just thought I'd let you know what we're working with here if you're also interested in a diaper bag. And we're back to the beginning. That's everything that I include in my newborn's diaper bag. I hope that this was helpful for you if you're also trying to figure out what to pack or if you're having a baby in the near future. I hope that you kind of see that you don't really need a ton of stuff. Just kind of hope for the best, maybe plan for the worst, but reel yourself in a little bit as far as that goes and you'll be good to go. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. I hope that you guys will stick around for future videos as well and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.